Well, hi, everybody. Mindy here with an update on the Magic EA. And I know it's actually been over a week since I did the last update. And a lot of you are probably thinking, oh, yeah, Mindy's EA probably finally crapped out and is doing really bad. Well, no, that's not the case, actually. Um, Although this last couple of weeks have been slower for the EA overall. But I have been so busy because so many of the people who have been using the EA on demo accounts since January and last fall, actually, are now going into live accounts. Also, as you know, a couple of weeks ago, I had the last major revision in the EA that came out. And so I've been doing a lot of little tweaking and things like that. So, we have verified now that most of the protections that we have added into the EA to assure that there's never going to be a problem with the EA causing a situation that could cause a big loss in your account. Uh, We've verified now that most of those are in fact working. The markets have been so slow that there's still a couple of tiny little very minor things that we haven't been able to actually verify yet because the market hasn't moved enough to cause those features to kick in. So as soon as those do, as soon as we have a situation where those safety features kick in and I can verify that they do in fact work correctly, the price on the EA is going to go up. So a lot of people this last week have been taking advantage of the fact that the pricing structure is still pretty much preliminary pricing. And, you know, this is the time to buy the EA if you want to save money on it and lock in a good price because it will be going up probably this next week. I've only got one more thing to verify in the new settings and the new programming for the EA. And as soon as I can verify that, the price is going up, okay? (laughs) Because I got to pay for all that programming, (laughs) okay? So anyway, let's take a look. Now we're going to do something different today. First of all, I have these same three accounts that you've been watching for months, okay? Since January when I started doing the test on version 40 of the EA. Now we're on version 47. <laughs> but but anyway, um these accounts are still holding their own. Now, this is the account that I think everyone is the most interested in. This is the account that I'm not even trading because this is the account that my associate has been trading, okay? And essentially all she did was plug it in and leave it alone because she uh, has a very busy work schedule, and so she has very little time to fiddle with it. And we wanted to do a test where we just kind of left it alone to see what would happen. This is the account that is running 30 minute time frames, and it has been running since January 7th. And about two weeks ago, it broke 100% of profit. Because if you remember, this account started with $10,000. It's now at $21,757 in the balance. So it's up 117%. But it still keeps flickering as far as the equity balance goes between being mildly above $20,000 and mildly below 20,000. And the reason for that is because of the way the market moves. As the market moves against some of these old original trades, we pick up quick fixers and hedges again and again and again. And so currently we have a negative PL of $2,436. Now the negative PL comes directly out of the equity. So that's why the equity is less than the balance. 
right? If every trade in here closed for zero, just for break even, the equity balance and the balance would be the same, okay? So what you're doing when you're trading Forex, you're using your equity to manage your trades. So when the trades are negative, that negative amount comes out of the equity. But when the trades get profitable again, the profit goes back into the equity. Plus, you know, it's when things are no longer negative, that money just rolls right back over into your equity. So this is just how it goes with Forex. But currently, even though the negative $2,436 looks like a lot of money, it's really not that much. It's only about 10% of the balance, right? And we, I've told you from the get-go that these accounts could run as high as 20% of the balance in negative PL at different times, right? But negative PL is temporary. It gets bigger and then it gets smaller. And you can see that most of the trades in this account right now are hedges and quick fixers. So what will happen is when the prices on these pairs kind of turns around again, and it always does sooner or later, what we could see by, you know, tomorrow, depending on how the markets move, almost all of the trades in this account would come out again, right? So anyway, I wanted to explain that to you to show you the progress on this account. Again, since it doubled in the balance, it's now up another $1,757 of profit. Okay, so overall, it's up 117% since January 7th. Okay, the equity balance, if somebody wanted to close the account, take their money right now, the equity balance is the walk away number. So if somebody wanted to walk away right now, they would walk away with 93% profit since January 7th. Okay, so that's the, the account that has been running on the 30 minute time frames for the longest amount of time. This account, if you remember, is the one that I set up also on the 30 minute time frames several weeks after this account started because I just wanted to see for myself if, if my associate was doing something funky in here that I couldn't match over here. Well, for the amount of time that this account has been open, it is in fact keeping pace with where this account was when it was three weeks younger. Okay, so anyway, all is good. This account currently has a balance that is up 56%, almost 57% right? It started with $10,000. The walk away equity balance is up 48% since, what was this, uh, the first part of February, I think, or right at the end of January. And it currently has a negative PL of $803. But again, we can see that a lot of the money that's tied up in negative PL is tied up in hedges and quick fixers. And so these will be, of course, the first trades that come out, right? So not very many original trades at all, which is good because most of the original trades are closing, right? So if we wanted to go over to the account history on these three accounts, and I've already got it set up so that we won't need to spend a lot of time. But what we can see is I've pulled this up to show you just the account history since the 14th of April. So that would be essentially last week. Today is Saturday, the market's not open. And so one thing that uh, you need to be aware of is all of these negative PL numbers are running considerably higher than what they really are because the weekend spreads are much higher than the spread is during the week, 
Right. So that's one thing to consider when you look at the negative PL. As soon as the market opens and has been open for about an hour on Sunday, uh, even if none of the prices change, the negative equity will probably drop 100 to $200 just when the spreads go down. Okay. But right now we're looking at the account history for last week just last week and what we can see is that this account which is running 30 minute charts it booked three hundred and twenty six dollars and eighty one cents last week but you can also see that a big part of the profit last week came from hedges and quick fixes right because the markets were really slow last week especially on Friday because it was a holiday, it was Good Friday, and there weren't a lot of traders actively participating in the market. Now, that same phenomenon will probably last until Tuesday, because a lot of ta people are going to still be on holiday until, you know, Tuesday, because a lot of people take Easter Monday off work and just make that a real long weekend holiday. So the markets could stay slow for the first part of this next week. But this past week, this account trading 30 minute time charts booked $326. This middle account, the one that's been running for such a long time, it booked more. It booked 581, but that was because it had more old trades. And again, you can see that most of the money in the account this week came from hedges and quick fixers. So the, the more old bad trades that you have, the more money you make in the accounts, right? <laughs> so that's kind of a, a unique phenomenon with these accounts. Now this 15 minute chart, this is the account that's been having some issues. It closed $162 last week. And you can see that almost all of the trades last week came from original trades, not hedges and quick fixers. And that's because the way the market moved last week was more conducive to finding trades on the very short term charts the 15 minute charts. But we just didn't have very many original trades in the 30 minute charts or the hour charts, right? So this is, if we sort these things by comment on all three of these accounts, and then we move to where the original trades are, look at this. On the 30 minute time frame, we only had two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 19 original trades on the 30 minute chart. But look how many original trades we had in the uh, 15 minute chart. The list goes from here all the way down to here. So that's a lot more than 15, right? <laughs> Let's count them and find out. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39, 39. But that's just the way the market moved this past week, right? If we go over to this 30 minute chart, what we're going to see, if we sort by comment, we will see a very compatible list to this other 30 minute chart because they're both trading the same time frames, right? So I'm going to try to line this up. So the original trades start right here on both. And what we see is that this account did maybe two more original trades than this account did. And that's to be expected. These, these two accounts, although they're both trading the same time frame, they're not trading identical settings. Very similar, but not identical, okay? So anyway, now I want to talk to you guys about what we're going to do different in the updates because what I wanted to show you is these are the same three original accounts that I've been following since January. But 
These three accounts are trading version 40. From here forward, what I'm going to do is start showing you three different accounts on a regular basis because now that we are fairly stable in version what is 47 now I want to start showing you version 47 testing instead of version 40 because the version 47 is the one that has all of the equity protection features in it and these accounts do not have that because it wasn't installed in the EA at the time I started testing these three accounts. So from this point forward in these updates you're going to start seeing these three accounts. Okay this first one is an account that is testing 15 minute time frames. Okay and it started testing a couple of weeks ago um, but right now it has a balance that is up $941 from when it started trading. All of these accounts start trading $10,000. It currently has a negative PL of $565 and it's trading 15 minute charts. The next account is trading 30 minute charts it's only been trading also, you know, less than a couple of weeks. And it has a balance that is up $639, but it only has a negative PL of 276. The third account is trading one hour time frames. Okay, again, it's only been trading a couple, a couple of weeks and it has a balance of $667 and it has a negative PL of 172. So if you wanted to look at these three counts like this, you could say, oh, the one hour chart's doing the best because it's got the smallest negative PL, right? Well, you could say that except if you look at the how much profit the accounts have booked, actually in the last three, you know, recent two couple of weeks, the 15 minute chart is booked more than the 30 minute chart and the hour chart because of the same thing I told you before. The way the market's been moving in this slow market condition that we've had the last couple of weeks, it's been more conducive to putting in way more trades See, this actually has a huge scroll bar, right, in the short-term time charts. Then it's putting on, this has no scroll bar, and this one has no scroll bar. Or, no, it has some, some, not a lot. Um, but it's just been more conducive to the shorter-term time frame, okay? But anyway, these are the three accounts in here. I'll just show you so that you know I'm not lying to you. When I go to the custom period and take the date back to last Sunday, which was the 14th, and hit OK, nothing changed. So, you know, you, you know that I'm not lying to you. I never lied to you guys. So anyway, this one closed $305 this past week. This one only closed $147, but the 15-minute chart closed $426, and again, I'll just go ahead and show you that I'm not teasing you. Now take the calendar back to the 14th, click OK, and there you go. The number didn't change, 426. So these are the three accounts that we'll be following from here forward. Of course, every now and then I'll do an update on these old accounts just so that you can see how they're still progressing. But these three are the ones that have the features in them that will absolutely guarantee that these accounts will not be able to take a significant loss in your account. Because the way the EA is structured, it's structured to make a profit on every single transaction that happens. Now you will see hedges closing for small losses. That's quite intentional, okay? But the quick fixer that goes with the hedge in every situation 
is going to make the closure of the hedge a profitable situation. Okay, so anyway, that's just how the EA works. But with the new protections, what we've done is we've gone in and made it to where the user can decide how much risk they want to take in the account and how much negative PL they are willing to accept. Okay, and so the EA is very flexible in that regard. If you're a person who doesn't want much risk, you can literally tell the EA how much risk you're willing to take and how much negative PL you're willing to look at. Because <laughs> this really grates on some people seeing negative PL all the time. There's negative PL. Well, most of the time there is negative PL, but that's just because the trades are working, right? But you can still have negative PL and it doesn't mean that you didn't make any money that week, right? You can still make a significant amount of money because the negative PL will find a range that it kind of runs in, right? And, you know, if next Sunday the negative PL is still somewhere around $565, which it might be, it's not going to be as impactful as it is this week because next week we will probably again close three or four or five or six hundred dollars in new profit, right? So as time goes by, the negative PL is less and less of a big deal, you know, uh, than it is initially. But right now, at this moment in time, when we go to the trade tab, these are the currently open positions. The one hour chart's been running for a couple of weeks now, and we can see that it only has six currently open trades. It has no hedges, no quick fixers, and a negative PL of 172. This account, same situation, it's been trading for a couple of weeks. It has three original trades, one hedge and one quick fixer. And so it has a little bit higher negative PL. This account, which has closed tons of money, it, it's done actually the best in the last two weeks. It has three, six original trades and two series trades, which are like original trades. But two of these trades up here have hedged and quick fixed. Okay, so anyway, that's how it goes. And what happens eventually, the hedges and the quick fixers close off. The market moves to where it can go back to the original trade and close the original trade for a profit. Okay, so anyway, that's the, the EA update for today. And I'm really sorry that it took me over a week to have time to do a new update. But I've been so busy. And so... What I want to tell you is that if you are interested in getting the Magic EA to run on your own account, whether you want it for a demo account or a live account, come to my website, www.mindyyost.com. If you have questions about the EA, my email address is always right up here at the top of my website. So I am not hard to find, and I'm very easy to contact, and I do try to answer every single email, okay? So if you have questions, feel free to reach out, because I'm always willing to talk to anybody about Forex, or especially about my Magic EA, because I am really proud of it, okay? But if you're interested in buying it while the price is still low, come to the Shop Now button, that's going to push you over here where you can see the pricing on the Magic EA. And if you want a really special price, take a look at the Ultimate EA package. But I'm not trying to, you know, give you some big pitch on why you should do that. It is an exceptional value. But if you're only interested in the Magic EA, come on down. Look for the Mindy's Magic EA. You will see the choices there are licensing options, and if you're not ready for a live license, you don't want to buy one of these live licenses if all you're wanting to do is test it.
So if you want to test it for a couple of months, come down and pick this one month demo version for $25. Actually, it's not really one month. I usually give you two or three, depending on how the, you know, what point of the month we're in. It's going to be at least not less than two months for the $25. And if you want an extension after that, just tell me and I'll give you an extension for free because I want to give people enough time to test the EA so that they will be convinced, which isn't going to take long. It's probably only going to take about two days <laughs> before you're going to go, oh yeah, I need this for my live account. Right. But I want to give you plenty of time so that you can see how the EA reacts in different market conditions, right? Because it's important that people know what to expect before they put the EA on their live account. But I have more and more people every single day who are buying. I've sold a lot of the lifetime license because people realize what a huge value that is right now. Uh, but I've sold lots of the licenses for live accounts and that's why I've been so busy that I really haven't had time to do the updates for you. Okay, but anyway, there you have it. That's the EA update for today. So come on over to my website. Take a look at some of the stuff that I offer. I have a lot of videos that I think are just really interesting for people. And then over here I talk about my mentoring service. If you really want to learn how to trade the same way that I trade. And the way that I trade, I simply do not take losses on my Forex trades. Not ever. Okay, and I can teach you how to do that too. So anyway, come on over to my website. Take a look at some of the stuff I have. I think you'll, if nothing else, it'll be uh, some pretty interesting uh, reading for you <laughs> because I do have very unique philosophies about forex trading but that's what makes my profitability so much different than what you'll find any place else because i simply don't take losses on forex trades so i hope to hear from you soon and keep your eye out for the next magic ea update hopefully it won't take me over a week to get it done but i'll do it as soon as i can you know that so happy trading everybody and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.